All right. Well, I'm getting ready for another space station pass, and you might wonder why I've got this cookie sheet. Well, the reason is it works as a great ground plane for a mag mount antenna. And I wanted to uh, share this with you guys who have handhelds, and in particular my buddy Pat, because I think he's going to have a little better success with his handheld if he switches from his whip antenna to a mag mount. And um, not that you can't do it with this, you can, but you're going to have a little better success with um, an antenna with a little bit more gain. So basically we're going to take this cookie sheet and I've got the mag mount antenna off my truck and I'm going to put that right in the middle of this cookie sheet. You guys have seen this before. This is my CPVC pipe where I store the mag mount whip to keep it safe when it's not on the base. And we're going to screw the antenna right on that base. And then I'm going to put this out on the patio and hook the coax up to my handheld and see how we do on this next pass of the International Space Station. All right, I'm going to put this right out on the patio. Okay, next step is to connect the coax from the mag mount to my handheld. I'll take the whip antenna off and hook up the mag mount. Now I've got my handheld programmed. Remember the downlink frequency for the International Space Station is 145.800. And you've heard me talk about the Doppler effect before. And that takes into account the um, change in frequency because of the speed of the space station. So at the very beginning third of the pass, the frequency will be set at 145.805. The middle third of the pass will drop that down to 145.800 and the latter third of the pass will drop it down one more time to 145.795. And the uplink frequency stays the same, 144.490. Hey, one of my favorite uh, ways of passing the time right before a pass of the uh, space station is um, reading a book and my new favorite is Vince Flynn and um, what a great book. I'm, um, he's got a great series. I'm right now reading Extreme Measures and um, I'm sure some of you guys have heard of him but uh, absolutely fascinating and a good read. So nice way to pass the time right before a space station pass. Okay, well I'm hoping this video is going to be very helpful for my buddy Pat, also a new ham, KF7LYB. Now one tip that you want to do is um, have your squelch wide open. All right, we should be good to go here. The maximum elevation on this pass is going to be 40 degrees above the horizon, so hopefully this would be a good pass if they're on the air. November Alpha 1, Sierra, Sierra, Kilo, Fox 7, Echo, Tango, X-Ray, Portland. Very good talking with you, sir. I'm uh, working with my handheld QRP 5 watts with a mag mount antenna. Uh, you're coming in loud and clear. Seventy three to you as well, sir. Godspeed.
Always just fascinating listening to him give his reports. I never tire of that. It's, it's awesome. Okay, let's spin around and take a look at the computer so you can see where the footprint is right now. You can see the back end of the footprint is just passing off the Pacific Northwest right now. And again, I am using that little mag mount right out there on the uh, table. So that's working really good for us right now. All right, well, that was a great pass with the International Space Station. Always exciting listening to Colonel Wheelock or Astro Wheels give report as he flies by. Very exciting. Thanks for stopping back by my temporary ham shack. And again, we were using a mag mount antenna on a cookie sheet as a ground plane sitting out on the back patio and using just five watts QRP or low power with a handheld and um, had a very nice signal report from Astro Wheels operating November Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra, the amateur radio station on board the International Space Station.